Brian Jara, the executive chairman and chief financial officer of Cinema One, to go through this morning's offering to you. Brian. Thanks, Ingrid, and thanks to everybody for coming today. Really appreciate the presence of the media and uh, especially our good friend, Leslie St. Louis. This journey for us started a good while ago, I must say. Um, you know, not really mentioned on the slides, where that, you know, when the legislative framework came out 2013 or so, uh, we were very intrigued about the prospects that it may bring. At the time, Ingrid and I were joint venture partners with Massey Holdings and Massey Communications, and we're always looking for innovative ways to be able to expand the business, to basically keep up with the deep pockets that Big Massey had for us to be able to expand our segment of the business as well. Um, moving forward to where that business evolved, to where it was eventually sold, um, I decided to, after a decade, really join on a more full-time basis the Cinema One team and really reflect a little more on how this business could have the same cadence and velocity that some of the bigger conglomerates have in terms of growth. And that's when we decided to really approach for citizens, and I must say both Leslie, uh, Stephen Thomas, Sana Ragbeer were, have been extremely open-minded and willing to really take on the challenge, the, the real developmental challenge for the capital markets in Trinidad and Tobago. So thanks again for that, for the, for the FCB team. Um, our goal with the IPO is really to be able to expand this business. You can see that we have still a bit of a snag list and we're trying to finish it up, but more importantly, the big items would be Gemstone in San Fernando. We've actually started construction in the Gulf City complex there, about on the sixth floor. And we want to urgently finish a new Gemstone in South model. Expand to regional markets. I mean, one of the things that I think Ingrid and I have always been keen on doing is not really limiting our horizons to the TNT landscape, but also looking at other markets, um, particularly those that offer kind of hard currency earnings capacity. And fortunately, there's a relatively strong pipeline of such projects. Um, increase our market share and you know, emerge as the first TT uh, listing on the SME market. Again, something that we've been thinking about and exploring. Uh, even the stock exchange, I must say, has been very open to overtures from us and facilitating um, our initial, initial you know, exploratory discussions. Anchor Cinema One as a community asset, something that Ingrid didn't really allude to much, but we've are always seen Cinema One as, and, and IMAX especially, we still host, I don't know, Stacy, who runs our educational program could, could probably say, but it's uh, about, what, 25,000 kids every year that come in, um, mostly subsidized by Atlantic, um, Digicel, et cetera, and ourselves from all around the country to be able to experience not just the entertainment value of movies, but also educational things, whether it's conservation of the rainforests, of you know the oceans, or space exploration. So just taking that whole community asset to another level, um, not just an educational level, but actually an ownership level, whereas Nicole rightly said, people could actually see themselves as owning a piece of, of you know, the Cinema One experience and multiplicity of experiences. We want to be able to boost revenue and, and profitability and to grow the businesses, as any business desires to do, but we certainly see in emerging markets, the slide Ingrid put up about the size of the motion picture market globally, already over 40 billion. Uh, most of the growth is happening in international markets, and you know, as the, you get more and more of the middle class emerging in various economies, it uh, provides a great opportunity for affordable investment um, in theater development, basically, so that people can have some escapism without necessarily going to Miami or New York or London or China, for that matter. So in terms of you know, why the SME exchange, I think it's something that we contemplated for a while. Um, it certainly affords, from a fiscal incentive perspective, a 10% tax reduction or a reduction of the corporate tax down to 10%. And that becomes a little more important given you know, the last year's pronouncements of, uh, or maybe the year before, up to 30%. So there's a significant tax saving that any profitable company, as Cinema One has been since the beginning, must uh, view as a potential opportunity. So we applaud you know, current and previous governments for maintaining that existing fiscal incentive. 